Hi, this is a Minute of Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now this week I want to answer the question, should you hire a part-time freelancer or a full-time developer? Okay, so should you hire a full-time person or a part-time person? So should you, you know, get somebody on your payroll and pay them for 40 hours a week and and train them up or should you go on something like Odesk or Upwork and find a, a freelancer to come in and work on your project, work on your app for, you know, the duration of the app and then and then move on. Now I tend to I like the idea of going on to Upwork or Odesk uh, and just hiring one person to work on one project and then at the end of the project you go to your different ways. It's kind of convenient because you don't have to worry about having every skill, you know, in house. However, I find it much easier to you know, when you find really good people to just you know to hold them on full time. That way, every time they learn something new, you're kind of investing in in their knowledge, and also you know you're investing in them, uh, and you 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 get this synergy with the way that you work. Uh, you know, it, it's really hard to bring somebody new in and get them up to speed and, you know, they may work at different speeds or they may have, you know, different baggage they carry along with them. So it's it's different with different people you talk to. I think a lot of people go with, you know, just they'll go and onto Odesk or Elance or, or whatever any of these websites are and just find somebody who who seems to fit the bill, hire them or has, you know, good reviews, which is the best thing about those sites and, and just hire them and bring them on board. However, I have some really good people who are like full time and, you know, I would not give them up for the world. Uh, however, you know, when, when it comes to, you know, smaller tasks, I will go to to engines like that. So, you know, if you have, you know, if so, if you're making a decision between, you know, part time freelancer or full time uh, software developer, full time software developer, if you can afford it, is always much better, you know, at least in my opinion. So, so that's it for this week's Minute of Overpass. Uh, now, if you're watching this on the iTunes uh, podcast, please leave a review. I'd love to know what you think. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, you know, please leave a comment and let me know, you know what you think if, you, you know, if you're watching this because I have no idea who's out there. Uh, and please subscribe to the channel. I'd love to be able to uh, keep up with, with you uh, each week in and, week in and week out. Uh, so that's it for me. I'll talk to you next week.